Maritime Made is presented by Nova Scotia Business Inc. Helping to educate, inform, and celebrate our region's manufacturing successes. Because great things are happening in all of our communities. The tradition of harness racing is alive and well at the Truro Raceway. Originally opening in 1865, the Truro Raceway is one of the oldest racetracks in Canada. At the Truro Raceway, the care and safety of the horses and drivers is paramount. Everyone involved with the races is a member of Standard Bread Canada, an organization that regulates and oversees animal care and racing. The condition of the racetrack is very important. The surface of the track is conditioned and watered throughout the races. The dragging keeps the surface level and the watering keeps the dust down for the horses. Over 100 horses are stabled at the True Row Raceway. More horses are shipped in on race nights and stay in visiting stalls. These horses are like fine athletes and exercise every day either performing race training or just out for a jog. In the Ellis Family Stable, this horse is being prepared for a jog. She is a nine-year-old mare named Desiree Dorleans. She is secured, then brushed and groomed for her comfort. Then the saddle pad goes on. It's harnessed up with a buckle around her belly. Then, the breast straps are fastened to the harness. Shin boots are put on the front legs as a precaution. The head halter is attached, and then the bridle for steering. A head pole attaches to the head halter for safety. It ensures the horse doesn't turn her head too far and get tangled. A lightweight jog cart is attached to the harness hitching onto both sides. Taking the reins, the driver brings the horse out for a jog around the track. Jogging is done in the opposite direction of racing, so the horse knows it's not a race. After the exercise session, the horse gets a cool shower in the bath stall. Her shower starts with a big drink. Afterwards, a squeegee-like tool removes the excess water and then she gets a towel dry. In cool weather, she would be wrapped in a blanket until she's dry. Races are held every Friday night during race season. To enter a horse into a race, the owners or trainers must register their horses and drivers with the race secretary on Tuesday of race week. The race secretary breaks down the races into classes to ensure competitive races. Then does a random electronic draw for post position. The post position is the order the horses will race in on track. The horses on the inside have an advantage. The race list of entries is created. From this list, the official race program is printed. There is a lot of important information about each horse in the program, and patrons use the information to make decisions on their wagers throughout the night. Patrons can watch the races and make wagers online or in person at the raceway. Each race is live streamed. Wagers are all managed through a tote system. It's computer software that manages wager sales, odds, and payouts. Patrons buy their wagers, watch the races, then cash their winnings, if they're lucky. While this is happening on the spectator side, the horses, drivers and trainers are working hard. Within an hour before a race begins, the horses have a warm-up jog. Racing rules state that every horse has to be in the paddock at least a half hour before a race begins. Here, horses are identified by their tattoo to ensure that the horse is actually the horse that is registered. The paddock judge keeps everything running smoothly. After giving a two-minute warning, 
The paddock judge calls each horse to the racetrack in order of their post position. Each horse's name is announced to the spectators as they arrive on the track. This is called the post parade. The horses do a quick jog in the opposite direction of the race. This is called scoring down. It gives the spectators one more look at the horses before making any last minute wagers. The starting judge is on the racetrack in a truck that serves as the starting gate. When the race is set to begin, the truck begins to drive around the raceway, picking up speed. The starting gates are like wings opening up on each side of the truck. The drivers direct their horses to their post position behind the truck and everyone gains speed. When the truck passes the start line in front of the tote board, the horses are off at full speed. Each intense race is two times around the track, or one mile. The horses are racing at about 35 kilometers an hour. From a booth high above the racetrack, an announcer calls the race for the fans. Just like any good play-by-play -play announcer, this increases the excitement for the spectators. The judges close the race in the wager system as soon as the horses pass the starting gate. Watching closely over the racetrack and on video monitors, they ensure no rules are being broken. When a race is over, the judges review photo finishes if necessary, discuss any disqualifications, and call down the official standings to the tote room so the wagers can be calculated. Their rulings are final. The tote system displays the final standings on the outdoor tote board in front of the grandstand. The payouts are calculated and lucky patrons come to collect their winnings. After a photo in the winner's circle, the winning horse and one other randomly selected horse must report to the test barn for a urine sample. In the test barn, the owner signs a release form agreeing to have the horse's urine collected by the technician. The horse's racing gear is removed and they're bathed and groomed just like every other horse after a race. Once they're clean and comfortable in a stall, their urine is collected and sent to a lab for testing to ensure it doesn't contain any banned substances.